Meet gorgeous Aston, whose owner contacted me around six weeks ago with her very itchy allergy dog. Now, she told me that she had tried numerous different things from conventional through to more natural options, and nothing was seemed to be helping very much. Now, after talking to her for a while and gaining more history, I got a sense of just how anxious and sensitive um, Aston is. Now, we talked about using some herbs to strengthen his nervous system and his adrenal glands to see if this would help him. Now, only a few weeks later, he's doing so much better as the herbs are uh, clearly calming down his nervous system and strengthening his adrenal glands so that he can uh, cope with stress in a more effective way. Now, uh, this is what can quieten down allergy patterns. So today, let's look at this in a little bit more detail in today's short video. Hi there, it's Lyndall Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality. Welcome to the channel, guys. It's Happy Healthy Dogs. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you find today's video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. And for all the regulars, welcome back. I appreciate your support as always. So in, uh, as I said with Aston, why did Aston's itchy allergy skin start to settle when I put him on this particular herb blend? Now for Aston, I used a combination of ashwagandha, holy basil, vervain and lemon balm. But honestly, I could have used a different combination of adaptogens and nervine herbs if I need, wanted to. Now these are the ones that I instinctively felt would suit him the best. Now there's an interesting connection between your dog's anxiety, their adrenal glands and their nervous system and their tendency to develop a pattern of allergies. And while addressing this is obviously not the only thing that we need to focus on, for many dogs it will definitely help with itchy skin in uh, itchy skin on, um, in their dog. Now, how does this work? So there's a number of factors here at play. Firstly, both anxiety and allergies can be linked to the immune system imbalance. Now, chronic stress from anxiety can increase inflammation in your dog's body, therefore exacerbating allergy patterns and reactions. And did you know that your dog's nervous system and their immune systems are closely linked. Now the immune system and the nervous system work together to sense danger in the body and mount an appropriate response. Now if the communication between these two systems is not working properly, it breaks down for some reason, this can lead to both psychological problems and immune related diseases, including allergies. Hello, Poppy. Another factor can be that the anxiety often manifests in dogs as excessive licking, biting or scratching, which might actually mimic or even exacerbate allergy symptoms. Now, dog and dogs with this anxiety pattern often develop compulsive behaviors like over grooming. Now, this can worsen skin irritation or trigger secondary infections in dogs who are already prone to allergy patterns. Consequently, chronic itching, redness or pain that's caused by the allergies can increase the stress level leading to heightened anxiety. So we start to see this bit of a vicious cycle happening um, in these situations. Now, what about stress hormones? This is a big one to be, to be honest. Now, chronic stress from anxiety leads to elevated cortisol levels. Now, over time, this can suppress the immune system, making your dog more prone to those allergy reactions or infections as the body becomes more sensitive to allergens due to this immune suppression. And finally, there's what is known as the gut-brain axis. Now, this is a communication system between your dog's gut and their brain involving the nervous system, the immune system, and your dog's hormonal system. Now, when this axis becomes disrupted, it can worsen allergies in dogs through several uh, ways, including disrupting the gut microbiome, which is going to lead to leaky gut or dysbiosis, and also in its impact on serotonin levels. Now, about 90% of the body's serotonin is, in, serotonin is produced in the gut. Now, imbalances in gut health 
disrupts serotonin production and this can increase histamine release which plays a really key role in those allergic reactions, the itching, redness, etc. So as you can see, there are a number of factors going on here when we look at dogs that display these anxious or stressy behaviors and how this really influences the development and also the exacerbation of allergy patterns. And in Aston's case, the addition of both the adaptogenic herbs to help uh, nourish and strengthen the adrenal glands and other uh, glands in that endocrine system, along with the nervine herbs to balance and strengthen out his nervous system, have really helped to calm down things in these systems, which in turn has helped to balance out the immune system and reduce down these allergy symptoms that he's been experiencing with the itching. Now, when it comes to adaptogenic herbs, I really love ashwagandha, holy basil, schizandra, reishi, licorice root, and rhodiola. Now, when it comes to nervine herbs, vervain, chamomile, lemon balm, skullcap, and lavender are all great choices. All of these herbs have really positive effects on both the adrenals and the nervous system, of course, but in addition, they also have anti-inflammatory, antihistamine and anti-allergy properties too, which make them really good choices for allergy issues here. Now, I generally like a combination of herbs, but of course it really depends on each dog and their needs. If I'm treating a really sensitive natured dog, that's quite anxious, I might really only focus on one or two, two herbs to get the best result. So it is best to work here with a holistic practitioner who understands these when choosing herbs that you might want to use that you uh, to be, benefit the skin. Now, typically you want to give these for around 12 weeks, but once again, this is really um, up to every individual dog's needs. They're all different, of course. Well, guys, I hope that you found this short video helpful today. While using this approach doesn't always solve all the issues when it comes to allergies, these herbs can really go a long way to calming the body, balancing out the immune system and helping to, and the gut of course too, and helping uh, reduce allergy symptoms or even some, in some cases eliminating them. Now, if you've got a dog like this and you do need some help, feel free to reach out to me. All my details are always below. And of course, I am open for some limited bookings too. Guys, if you did find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it, if I can say the word, to give it a like and a share. This really helps to get that content out on YouTube for other dog owners like yourself who are looking for uh, natural answers. And if you haven't already subscribed, please um, consider doing that as well. Guys, wherever you are in the world today, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will catch up with you next week in another video. But till then, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.